routine on this Thursday morning. Okay, a touch of seaweed cut with molasses and added to cattle feed may dramatically cut methane emissions from California's 1.8 million dairy cows. That's according to preliminary results from researchers at UC Davis. And joining us now to explain how this might work is animal science professor Hermes Kebrab. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. All right, well, let's get down to business. First of all, when we talk about methane emissions from cows, we're really talking about cows passing gas, uh, to be delicate about it. Why is that such a problem? Yeah, sure. So the California, about 8% of the greenhouse gases in California uh, comes from agriculture, and most of that, about 60% of that is uh, in the form of methane. And methane comes mostly from uh, uh, dairy cows, from, from, from belching of the, uh, of the cows. So. Uh, let's say about 95% of the uh, methane comes out of the, the, the cow's mouth. So, Professor, how did you determine that seaweed would be the ingredient that would help to cut the methane emissions? Uh, yeah, so uh, the, the, there was some uh, test that was done in, in the lab with the seaweed, and uh, it was found out that it really reduces the, the, the amount of methane that's coming out of the uh, uh, cow's mouth. And so we, we thought, well, maybe this will work in actual animals as well. So we got the seaweed, we, we got some fishermen to collect some seaweed, uh, freeze dry it for us, and then uh, bring it here, and, and we are feeding to the cows, and we're seeing quite a, a dramatic reduction in uh, emissions. Uh, like how much of a, of, uh, can you calculate a percentage, for instance? Yeah, so this is a preliminary result right now, but we've seen over 30% reduction. Wow. So is it the, it, it also says this mix has a little molasses cut in. What does the molasses do? Yeah, so the, uh, the, the seaweed, as you can imagine, is a little bit salty for, for, for the animals. So in order to uh, make it a little bit more palatable for them, we added a little bit of uh, molasses. Uh, so molasses oh. combined with the seaweed, with their, with their uh, feed, then they, they, can, they can consume it as, uh, as, as just a... It's some sort of a, a sea additive. Wow. Anytime you're changing up something like this, like a diet for an animal, there are usually some drawbacks. Are there any side effects that the animals experience when you first introduce this to them? So, so, so far, we haven't seen any, uh, any drawbacks. The, the, their milk production is, uh, is the same. So we are quite happy with the, how the result is going so far. And when uh, we talk about changes, how about the milk itself? Any changes or to the taste of the milk or anything along those lines? So far, we have not seen that, but we are doing more tests. We're sending the, the milk samples into a, a test panel and to try to figure out if there is any taste that people can, can pick out. But uh, so as far as we can tell right now, there hasn't been any, uh, any, any difference at all. So I'm wow. wondering about the, sea, the property of the seaweed itself. It, it just kind of like thinking you know, off the page here, could this potentially work for humans? <laughs> So that we won't you know, uh, have might any feel, methane emissions? We might be feeling a little, a little, <laughs> a little you know, <laughs> gastric disturbance. <laughs> <Don't blow me>. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it might work for humans, Professor? Uh, so, sorry, I didn't hear that. <laughs> I think, you know, I think he's ignoring my question. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Well, I, I, <laughs> I'm sure that there will be some, some people who would, uh, who would use it better than others. <laughs> well, and look, this cow appears to like it. Yeah, my exactly. next question is, do they like it? I think they do. It looks like he's trying to get at it right there. So, well, that is a fascinating bit Absolutely. of research. And hello. Uh, and uh, hopefully that will help to cut down on some of these uh, emissions here in California. If we've got uh, so many dairy cows, all of whom we know are happy for the most part. <laughs> exactly, because uh, we know that from the commercials. Happy's cows here, right, exactly. Uh, Professor uh, Ermias uh, Kebrab, thanks for joining us, and we'll wait to hear more about how this research all pans out this morning. Thanks. Thank you, Professor. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Wow, that is really, that's incredible so stuff. When you get those research grants of people doing their masters and everything, that's